this width of about six inches, I'm going to do three lines and just take my fingertip and draw three lines, one on each side, about a half inch from each edge, and then one in the middle. So I've got three nice lines there, you can see. And then I'm going to take the packet of seeds, and I like to knock all the seeds to the bottom. Make sure you get them all down there, because each seed is valuable. And then I'm going to take and gently, with this little uh, edge that I formed, I'm just going to take and gently put them in each row. So I like to do it a little lighter the first time, because if I have any seeds left over, I can go over it again. And one of the things I love to do is plant extra seeds. I, I'd like, I'd rather plant a little thicker. You can see I'm going over it again here, and I've got quite a few seeds left. Some of the seeds are white, and some of them are dark, so it's nice because the dark seeds are almost impossible to see once they hit this nice, rich soil. So I'm still going over it a third time now to get a nice, even spread of the seeds. And the reason you want to plant a little more is because you can't buy time back. You can't say, oh, you know, I'll wait, because if you want this crop to be ready in like four or five weeks, and this doesn't germinate, then you have to do it again and you can't buy those two weeks back. So it's better to plant a little more for insurance the first time. So all the seeds are gone. Make sure, just tap it in there. And then to cover it up, it's really simple. You can pull your furrows together with your fingers like so. Or you can just take another little bit of this nice soil and just sprinkle it gently on top like you're going to dust a cake with powdered sugar. It only takes about a millimeter of soil, about a 32nd of an inch to cover these up because you want them just barely covered. 